Hi, 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 sweaty Jen back again. Today's video is going to be made in honor of how much I love the cold weather. I am so happy that summer is over. I live somewhere where it gets cold in the winter, so I really love winter, fall, and the cold months. So I figured I'd make a video talking about that today. What is your favorite season? I have a feeling a lot of you will say you also like cooler weather, but I'm interested if there's any summer fans out there. I prefer bundling up, wearing lots of layers, drinking hot cocoa, watching a movie. <laughs> I, I love bundling up, but I don't like getting too hot because that triggers me to start having a sweating episode. So in the winter when it's really cold, I can finally enjoy blankets and stuff like that. If it's even somewhat warm outside, I cannot use a blanket or add any extra layers. I prefer wearing long sleeves. I prefer wearing layers, especially sleeves like this, where I can like cover my hand. So winter is especially great for that because in the summer I get comments from people asking why I'm wearing long sleeves or I have to go out of my comfort zone and force myself to wear short sleeves in which case I don't really have somewhere to absorb my sweat but oftentimes the material of my pants I can absorb my hand sweat on. One thing I have noticed is the amount of swelling I get in my hands and my feet when I'm sweating a lot. Right now, I feel kind of adrenaline rush because I'm making this video. And so my hands are starting to get a little bit sweaty. Oh no, I'm having like, I'm gonna, yeah, my hands are sweating and my armpits are starting to sweat and my feet are starting to sweat. And you can see my hands look swollen and red. When I'm not close to having a hyperhidrosis episode, my hands can be, my fingers are much skinnier and my skin is not as pink. It's strange. I much prefer when my hands and feet are not swollen. On another note though, you may notice these two green plants in the background. Interesting fact about lucky bamboo plants is that the actual stalk does not grow, only the leaves grow. So the stalk always stays the same length unless it's not cut. This plant I got from my mom. Thank you, mom, if you ever watch this video. It's really pretty, it's called a peace lily. Where I live now is a much busier area than other places I've lived. I was thinking about filming a walking around the neighborhood video today instead of sitting here and talking to you guys, but actually there's a lot of traffic and a lot of people and I felt like a little bit overwhelmed with all the cars driving by. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, so anyone watching this who doesn't have hyperhidrosis, this is why we don't want to give a handshake during a job interview. Since I'm actively sweating and this video is about cold weather, I do want to talk again about how painful having hyperhidrosis in the winter can be. It can really hurt to sweat and then be freezing cold. And I believe I've mentioned before that if you're wet in the freezing weather, you are way more likely to get frostbitten. And I'm not sure, but I feel like I've done some kind of damage to my toes and fingers having hyperhidrosis living somewhere where it gets really, really cold in the winter. Winter with hyperhidrosis is not suddenly we are cured and there's no problems. Winter comes with its own slew of problems and probably dangers compared to the summertime. Another downside to winter is that a lot of people keep their heat on in their house really high 
or even if it's not really high, just the shifting temperatures from cold to hot can be really uncomfortable. If I'm inside somewhere and it's really hot and it causes me to start sweating, like my own place right now, I don't th I think it's about 70 or 71 degrees in here right now, but it's I'm sweating still from that temperature right now just because of having hyperhidrosis. So I think it's about 50 out now. If I went outside with this sweat all over me without drying it off or putting on extra layers, I would get freezing cold. I feel like cold climates aren't necessarily better for hyperhidrosis. I think consistent environments that are not too hot because I do know for a fact that hot environments make it a lot harder to live with hyperhidrosis. All the times I've visited my family in Texas has been very difficult. I'm not sure if you get used to it more and it was just because I wasn't there long enough to adjust, but I just know I sweat crazy when I go down to the southern states. I was years ago thinking about moving to Texas. By the end of it, I knew for a fact I could not move to Texas because it would just be way too much of a difficulty with my condition. Do any of you live in a very hot climate? And if so, have you thought about moving somewhere where it's less hot? Just curious because I oftentimes think about moving somewhere where it's more wintry all year long. Lastly, I'm not sure what I want to get for my friends and family for Christmas. I kind of want to do some something creative and make them something. Maybe make them some kind of art or something handmade. Do you guys have any ideas about handmade gifts? That's another difficulty with sweating is making things handmade because for example, right now with my hands being so sweaty, I can't really make artwork how I would like to and it stops me from being able to write things down. It stops me from being able to study things because I want to wait until my sweat calms down. I don't like getting my books and artwork and papers damaged by touching them with my sweat. Maybe I should start wearing some thin cotton gloves to make my artwork. That might not be a bad idea. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you all have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, I was editing my video and I realized I didn't even thank you guys for all of the love I received when I returned posting my first video in a year yesterday. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for watching this one again today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will try to respond to the comments on my previous video as soon as possible. Thank you all. Bye.